Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2023 top 10s as we are going to look at my number four super middleweight in the world right now at 168 pounds. The undefeated former junior middleweight champion, Jaime Minguia. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So heading into the year, Munguia wasn't ranked at a uh, super middleweight. He was still technically a middleweight. And um, that, you know, there was talks about him moving to super middle, but it was kind of unclear. But what was clear is that he wasn't willing to fight Demetrius Andre or Jonabek Al Alamanhalai at 160. So it was kind of up in the air what he was going to do. Well, in June, he made a decision to meet Sergey Derevchenko at 168. Um, you know, and really made his official move. But I don't think that was the plan until the fight was really over because he ended up having a fight of the year candidate. And for a lot of people, this was the fight of the year. And I'll admit, it's it's right there at the top for me too. I'm not going to give away what my fight of the year is yet, but it's definitely one of the finalists right there. It was a great fight, back and forth action, and um, Munguia scored a knockdown in the 12th round that secured him a, a very close unanimous decision, but it was also a fight where a lot of people thought he might have lost. Um, so, um, you know, Munguia after that, um, it was tough to not criticize him because we've been waiting to see him kind of, you know, bust out and, and finally become a star, you know, um, but he was really taking on low level competition the last year he signs on against a, a Derry Vincenco who's 10 years, almost 10 years older than him. Nine years at least. And, you know, so a lot of people thought he should blast out Derry Vincenco. And that didn't happen. But people got to respect that Derry Vincenco is a tough as fuck fighter. And he's only got 19 pro fights in his career. So that shows you right there. This dude, even though he's 37, he's not an old 37. And he's, he's also a veteran that's been in the ring with some good ass fighters, Daniel Jacobs, Triple G, Jamal Charlo, Carlos Adames, uh, Jack Colke. He's been there, done that. And, um, you know, uh, he went in and he really um, put it with Manguia in a great all action fight. So Manguia though closed out the year knowing that he was a potential option for Canelo in May. So Manguia to lock that fight up has signed on for a January 27th main event on the zone against former two-time world title challenger John Ryder, you know, who's two times fighting for titles, came in a controversial loss to Callum Smith, who was the number one super middleweight at the time, and came against Canelo Alvarez last year by, um, you know, when he by a unanimous decision where he challenged for the undisputed title. So, Munguia has, this is the year where he proves how good he really is. And if this is his moment to really bust out because he's got a golden opportunity to land a Canelo fight in May if he can beat John Ryder. And the, the more convincing he is in this fight, the higher his chances of landing that fight with Canelo are. Now, I believe it's a 50-50 fight with him and John Ryder. I picked Munguia to win. I think Munguia's youth is going to be the difference here. He's eight years younger than John Ryder. And I think he's going to go into this one focused as hell, knowing what he has to do. I do believe he might have been overlooking Derry Vincenco, as so many fighters have before. He is not going to overlook John Ryder, in my opinion. He's going to go in there. I think the youth is going to is going to speak the the ending in this fight, which I think it's going to be a late stoppage or more likely a decision. But I think it's going to be a close, competitive battle, and these two guys are going to go to war. And it's going to be good. It's, it could be great. Could be another fight of the year candidate. And I do think it could go either way. But I'm picking Munguia to win. And if he does, the, he could definitely land a Canelo fight, which I don't think he wins. But just to get in there with Canelo and make his statement and show that he's ready to be on that level to get that opportunity is going to is gonna be huge for him. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. Um and, and if he can get past, but he's got to pass the John Ryder test first. And now he is, um, he's 27, 42 and 0, 33 knockouts. 
and right now he's the WBO's number one ranked contender and the WBC's number two ranked contender. So it's really his chance and opportunity here to get the Canelo fight and to prove himself. So I'm looking forward to seeing what takes place here, what transpires. I think it's going to be good. I can't wait to see it. Saturday, January 27th. But a loss for him in this fight will definitely hurt him. It'll definitely push him um, to the back of the top 10. And it's going to be a major setback if he loses the Ryder. Now, if he loses the Canelo, which I think he will, if he gets Canelo, it won't. But it would, let's say he doesn't even get Canelo. I still think he has a, a good opportunity to do something big. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's it. Um, uh, do I feel like he finishes in the top 10? I do. Top five, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. If he beats John Ryder, even with the loss to Canelo, I think that'll that'll for sure give him a top five spot at the end of the year. So we'll see. But this is Munguia's moment. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with it. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my 2023 top 10 on my number four super middleweight in the world right now at 168 pounds. The undefeated former junior middleweight champion, Jaime Munguia. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.